really quickly, build some boxes or torque test channel. If you guys want to uh, contact me through Facebook and uh, or email me, I can fit your stickers right here because I think it's time to use this space to uh, promote some other channels. VCG is doing good. He's at 450,000 subscribers. I congratulate him on that. And so I think it's time to uh, put someone else there. So I want belts and boxes and torque test channel. So if you guys want to contact me, that'll be great. But today we are going to answer a lot of questions that have been going on in the past couple of months. I got the 8 amp hour battery with 21700 cells for flex. Now I'm excited about this one because this is going to be a completely fair test based on the functionality of the tools. So let's go over the specs of these really quick and uh, get to it. All right, first let's go to the 8 amp hour flex battery. I just want to show you guys the battery is full. And yes, this battery does have 21700 cells because as you can see, there is a bit of a size difference between these two. And because there is a size difference when it comes to their width, these are different cells. So yeah, so this is a 21700 cell battery, eight amp hours. And so that will be used on the flex. This test is gonna be completely fair. And I've been waiting for a video like this for a long time. And so the model for the flex is FX1271T. Two speed settings, first speed is 550 RPM and on speed two, 2000 RPMs. And now once you hit that turbo button, speed one goes to 700 RPM, goes 200 RPMs more on speed one. And on speed two, it goes 500 RPMs more than uh, with a turbo button off. So 2500 25, RPMs with turbo on. 2000 RPMs with turbo off. All right, so I'll put the torque in right now. This is 40,000 blows per minute. The hammer housing is metal, fully metal chuck. This has a 24 point clutch and it has its own separate transmission for hammer screw and, sorry, hammer drill and screw. Turbo button will be active for this, uh, for this video. All right, so the Milwaukee is 18 volt, the Flex is 24 volt. Uh, the Milwaukee is a bit more compact than the Flex is. We will be using an eight amp hour high output battery. The battery is full. There's a single LED light on the base and there is a single LED light on the Flex's base as well. This has a 14 point clutch plus two, which the plus two is drill and hammer. The model number for this is 2804-20, two speed settings. Uh, first speed is 0 to 550 RPM, and on speed 2, it is 2,000, R uh, 2000 RPM. F half inch fully metal chuck, and that is the Milwaukee. All right, so it's on drill, speed 2. I, I, I think you could do that on speed 2. Turbo mode is activated. The battery life is full. All right, so right here is good. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to redo that. And it completely went sideways. It's okay. That's because I'm not high enough over the over the test. Ready? Go. <clears throat> Time. And that's the rule. It has to go all the way down, continue spinning, and pull itself out. Alright, so if you guys see right here, I think turbo mode turned itself off. It's flashing, so I think turbo mode turns itself off if it can't use the power the turbo gives. I think that's, uh, that's automatic. All right, so let's do the Milwaukee. It is on drill, it's on speed, speed two. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do one more for flex. All right, turbo mode is on. I have a feeling that turbo mode is gonna turn itself off. I'll show you guys immediately, immediately after the test. All right, right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. Right, let's see. Let's say I'm gonna pull the trigger. Yep, turbo mode turned itself off. So it should be, now it should flash. 
and it's flashing. So turbo mode turns itself off if it's too much RPM for the tool. All right, so one more for Milwaukee. Ready, go. Time. Alrighty, so next we're gonna do a two and a half inch uh, hold dozer. It's on speed two, turbo mode will be on. Turbo mode, it reset itself and it is now on. Ready, go. Time. That was quick. That was a quick one. It's on drill speed too. Remember, it is not Flex's fault. Milwaukee doesn't have a turbo. Just like it's not Makita's fault, Milwaukee saw has an orbital feature and Makita does not. Each tool has its own ups and downs. All right, so ready? Go. Yeah, this one's a little slower. Time. That one, like, I, that one was a little slower. I can instantly tell that. That's when the tur that's a situation where the turbo mode will majorly help you out. And I'm not paid by Flex. I'm not sponsored by Flex. I did not receive free tools. I bought all the Flex tools that I have, which means I could say what I want with them. So. Yeah, uh, I do not know what the test results are until I edit the video, but I can definitely tell you that that one was definitely a uh, flexes win. That's where the turbo button helps you out. I usually love Milwaukee's engineering on this whole dozer set. You just twist, spin it on, and lock it into place, and you're good to go all day. See, and that's all it takes to take it out. Done. All right, so next we are going to do an 8-inch timber lock. It's on speed 2. Turbo is on and it's on drill. Ready? Go. Wow. Time. I'm going to reverse that a little bit because it went beyond the wood. There we go. Got that out surface level. Next is the Milwaukee. We'll check the better lights at the end of the video. I'm pretty sure they'll still be full. It's on speed two. It's on drill. Ready? Go. Time. Now, I think Flex got that one. I feel Flex might have gotten that one by a little bit. All right, let's take Flex's out. Ready? Go. Time. I'll stop the time at the proper time. Let's take Milwaukee's out. Ready? Go. Time. All right, I think it's time to, you know, uh, sort of uh, increase the intensity of the test, if you will. All right, so we will do a four inch by half inch lag. It is on speed one. Turbo, mo turbo mode will be on. So you see, if uh, turbo mode turns itself off, then that's all well, but turbo mode is on. It's on drill. Ready, go. I think that's time. Yep, that's time. All right, so it is time for Milwaukee's. It's on speed one. It's on drill. Ready, go. Time. Oh, drove it in a little bit too far. There we go. Oh, let's take out flexes. Ready, go. Time. I'll stop the timer at the proper time. All right, let's do the Milwaukee. Ready, go. Time, no problem for either of them. Ready, so, all right, so we're gonna do one 10 inch lag each. All right, so, ready, go. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. It did it, it did it, it did it. Not too shabby. That is that like the, that I can tell between the last times it did this lag of that 21700 cell battery majorly helped the tool out. It did. All right, so let's do the same thing with uh, Milwaukee.
motorcycle with its GPS going through the speakers. Everyone's, everyone knows where he's headed. We'll do it right there. All right, so ready? Go. There we go. Time. Time, time, time. See, like your tool needs to be very powerful to do that. And it does depend on what batteries you got. So 21700 cells is the is that battery. So that's powerful. You know, like I, uh, I don't know the test results until I edit the video, but but yeah, it, it just seemed like they're either both getting the, the tasks done. All right, well, let's take out flexes. Ready? Go. Snap. Time. And turbo mode was on for that. Turbo mode was on because of speed one. So speed, the turbo mode actually stayed on during something like that for speed one, which is that that's actually interesting. So it seems like speed one would be in your favor if you uh, use a flex because that turbo mode gives you the extra RPMs on a lower RPM gear, which you still have a great amount of power. Well, that's interesting. I was waiting for this test for a long time, you guys. I wanted to do this test so bad, which I have the eight amp hour battery, which also means the impact drivers and other brands get to use the, their 21700 cells as well. All right, so ready, go. Yeah, see that reverse. I'll stop it at the right time. See that reverse mode uh, on speed one with turbo majorly helps out. We're already, I think we should uh, go over to the concrete and see how, the, how well these do with the concrete, which I honestly, I'll give you my opinion right now. I think the flex is gonna destroy the, the, the Milwaukee. All right, so we're gonna use a half inch Bosch bit. All right, speed two, it's on turbo. Hammer feature, let's make sure it works. Yes, it does. Oh yeah, it's like, oh, sorry. That was speed one, speed two. All right, so let's see how well the Flex uh, operates with a 21700 of battery for uh, concrete. Ready, go. Time, time, time. That was a, the see that the, this hammer feature on flex is actually quick. 108, 117, 113. All right, so the flex is 123. Make sure one more time. Yep, and it is in forward, you guys. It's in forward. Ready? Go. That took a lot longer than Flex did. It did. 125, 137, I saw 100, 138, 141 for the Milwaukee. And let's check out the battery life. Battery life, uh, three bars for the Milwaukee. Up four bars, it just went up a bar. Whew, it is hot, you guys, it is hot. Oh. All right, so Flex didn't do too bad and the Milwaukee did just as good. Now remember, the Milwaukee is an old tool. 
This is not a, a new tool by any means, all right? But the Flex is a 2021 tool. And so Milwaukee will be making their, their tools better than our previous models. And so, yeah, so it's gonna be an interesting one to see and how well these compare uh, uh, when it comes to the new Milwaukee stuff coming out. Both batteries are still full. They're eight amp hour batteries. The Flex's hammer feature is actually a very good feature on their tool, especially with the assistance of the turbo mode on that all right but yeah but uh but yeah i hope this answered a lot of your guys questions more videos coming to you guys because i got the eight amp hour battery now for the flex so now i get to test out the other stuff that has a higher amp hour battery and see on how well they are because also the other tool gets to use a higher amp hour battery uh from the previous videos of versus this so the milwaukee impact driver versus flex is coming soon so that's pretty much it you guys i hope you found this video helpful and entertaining Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.